Yes, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. Now, in the last couple of years, a new short film genre has emerged and it has the fashion industry very excited. It's called fashion films. And basically what it is, it's a kind of dramatically beautiful creation that showcases a fashion-inspired scene. And these can range from elegantly simple to a large-scale production. I, I think I'm getting it right, Adrian? You're 100% correct. Okay, I hope so. And uh, Adrian is, of course, he's the founder of the Mercedes-Benz Boca South, Africa, uh, Interna South African International Fashion Film Festival that was held in Cape Town this past weekend. And he's joined this morning by Cape Town's Fashion uh, Council CEO, Brian Ramkinwan, and also fashion designers, Henrik uh, Familia, and also JD. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, uh, gentlemen. Yeah. I'm going to start off with you first, uh, Adrian. Just give me a bit of a background of what the intention was of the initiative when it started. I think the, the idea behind it all was to showcase South Africa, South African fashion, mm -hmm. and uh, South African filmmaking to a global audience, and to bring the genre to South Africa and uh, inspire young filmmakers and fashion designers to yeah. get involved in it. Yeah. And what's been the, imp the impact of the, of the event so oh, far? It's been amazing. We've been able to attract global attention. We have by far become, I would think, the best fashion film festival in the world. Wow. If the ratings from any of the other filmmakers are to go by. Yeah. We had yeah, numerous international filmmakers arrive this year and raving. They were all raving about the production yeah. and raving about the standard. Yeah. And I guess the, the people that can tell us about the impact of the event uh, from the front lines are the fashion designers. So Hendrik and Dady, that's where you, you, you get involved in. So how has this changed what the industry is doing and how is it moving fashion in South Africa forward? You know, when, when we showcase fashion, um, it's uh, sometimes very difficult to sort of put something into context. Mm. Um, when you're busy designing, you, you have a certain idea about where you're going with this. And to translate that over to, to an audience um, can be very difficult. Yes. So um, when you're doing a fashion film, um, it it's puts everything into context, you put everything together, you create the mood. And I think it's just brilliant for, uh, um, for us to be able to have that platform to, yeah. to showcase things. Uh -huh. In, in our case, actually, it's quite easy because uh, couture is an art. It's an art form today. No mm -hmm. one must be dressed in uh, couture. Therefore, the art, the cinema, and uh, what we call the fashion, but the couture, can get together and give absolutely outstanding results. Yeah. And, uh, Brian, how would you say we measure up? I mean, Adrian has kind of just categorically put it out there that we are the best in the world. But how, how do we measure up? Uh, I think um, if you were there, you would have noticed that we were the best in the world. And I think it's a new genre, and I think it's a new... It's not going to be a replacement to Fashion Weeks. Mm -hmm. It's a new genre. It's, it's a three-dimensional format of presenting fashion. And uh, I think uh, for South African filmmakers, I think that's, that's a start-up currently. I think we're really proud that we had, uh, I think, four, four, four nominations this year, Adrian. And, uh, which is great, and I think hopefully next year we'll have a lot more. Yeah. Can we talk a bit about the, the, the standout films that uh, were featured this year, Adrian? Sure. I mean, internationally, there was one entry that really stood out. Well, there were two. The one was The Legend of Shalimar by Bruno Avalon. Mm -hmm. An epic. Um, I think you're probably going to be showing some footage of it. Mm -hmm. uh, big budget, a couple of million euros. Yeah, I think that's from My it. Goodness. Uh, CGI and the works, that's when you throw everything at it. Uh, another one was Kiss of a Siren by Victoria Pashuta from Latvia and Miguel Gautier from Canada. Also a standout film, but these are big budget films. But then you've got smaller films like the local ones by Shoestring Productions, for instance, which won an award for Best Sound mm -hmm. uh, by ZA. Um, also a standout movie. You, know, you don't need huge budgets to make these films. Yeah. Just as long as you've got an idea and you execute it correctly, it comes across perfectly. Yeah. And Hendrik, from a designer's point of view, when you think of the incorporation of film as a medium into showcasing what it is that you do, does that kind of inspire you differently? Do you think of a different way of designing now that you have this available? Mm. Oh, well, definitely. It, um, any of those things would influence you because, um, you know, because you have a different way of expressing yourself, yeah. um, I think that just helps you to get, get on a different path, uh, approach things from a different angle, mm -hmm. which is always good for um, uh, doing something original. Yeah. JD, I'm assuming you, you agree. Yeah, yeah. But, but in our case, in our particular case, as a couturier, you're actually at the service then, at the service of your client. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we put ourselves at the service of the, the, the film industry. Mm -hmm. Therefore, mm -hmm. we, can, we can fit our garments uh, perfectly for the purpose. Yeah. And that's very exciting. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining us this, uh, this morning, gentlemen. We really do appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Well, a big congratulations to all of the creatives who were recognized for their outstanding work in the film and fashion industry. And the event will be, of course, up in Joburg uh, on the social calendar in June. So watch the space for more details. But stay tuned right now as we catch an update from the, from the NetBank News Network.